There's been a couple times that I truly dislike someone in a 90 Day Fiance franchise and this time is Renee. Poor little chicken girl being misunderstood by the outside world, too shy, too weird, too woke for people like us. In reality, a possessive lady that likes to take advantage of people with disabilities, right? When it comes down to Chitty, I just see him as my last hope. But is Chitty innocent or an accomplice? Is it an act? Was Chitty really someone that was being taken advantage of or is he playing the victim? Those are questions for you to answer. Who is the real bad guy in this story? Last episode was the first time Renee and Chitty met in person and it was a beautiful meetup. Oh no! my God. <laughs> Chitty was incredibly emotional. The love of his life was finally here in front of him. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I got a little emotional. However, knowing the truth behind this meetup and understanding what these two have done sours the entire scene. As she arrives at the airport, she talks about how excited she is to be intimate with him, but plot twist, Chitty has made a promise to God to stay celibate until marriage. Plot twist, plot turn, plot spin. It turns out that Miss Renee already knew about Chitty's promise to God. Not only did she know, but she used a manipulation tactic known as withdrawal. She acted with anger, threatened him to cancel her visit, and then block him all of this just for her to call him again and beg him to be on the show. But is this true? Because Chidi mentioned many times on the show that he was hiding this from her. Not once, not twice, but multiple times. And three, two, one. I made a vow that I would never have sex with any woman. I must remain steadfast in my vow of celibacy. I didn't tell her that I would not be having sex. Both of them are going off on social media trying to present their own side of the story while neither of them are providing any type of solid proof to help each other's argument. As you guys can see, these two are particular characters, but I want to focus on Renee's pushy and possessive behavior because like Lauren, she has wasted no time to remind Chidi that she wants to be intimate with him and after five years of knowing someone, I could understand this. But what strikes me wrong is how aggressive she can be with intimacy. Give him back rubs and get him just used to physical touch with me. Isn't she not concerned if Chidi is okay with this? I'm about to play you this clip and I would love to hear your thoughts. I used to get really jealous off of his sister, his brother, anybody who was out there helping him, I'd get like, oh. You are jealous of people helping him? I'm sure that this comes from a loving place since Chitty needs help to navigate the world around him. Without assistance, he wouldn't be here. But jealous of people helping him? Let's ask each other a question. Are you going to be able to take care of three people, two whom are children, and on top of that, your farm animals? Now, I want us to take a look at the next clip. I've always had this feeling about some sort of drama or something in the future with the man's sister. She knew that she was going to have a conflict with her sister-in-law, like some type of prophecy or omen. But there was actually some truth to this vision because after only two episodes, we already have Chidi's sister defending him on social media, claiming Renee is using Chidi. Now, my interpretation is that she's talking about her trying to gain sympathy points, but all she's getting is pity points. Who would have thought that telling a devoted Christian, I'm going to turn you woke, of course, she didn't even use it correctly, and saying things like, those who are walking with God are doomed, will make you seem crazy. And most things that I feel deep within for that long period of time end up coming to fruition. That's called foreshadowing. Let me tell you guys, I'm not cutting these clips up to make anyone think worse of her. I'm showing you all the clips that to me really stood out and started pulling up some serious red flags. Maybe my radar is just off, but it's hard for me not to think that this lady is a bad person. Again, tell me in the comments what your thoughts are. And it is funny that even in this episode, you mentioned that he's the love of your life and you want to marry him. Yet, Chidi says that you lost your mind the moment you found out that he was not going to have sex with you. But this is not just about Rainy. Let's put Chidi under the microscope for a second here. All the stuff that has been going on behind the scenes. Chidi claiming that they can't have sex until marriage while he was also sending her messages like this one saying I would like to stick it in you 
I understand why Renee feels rejected by him. If someone was sending me messages like this, you bet your ass that I'm looking forward to our first meetup. Setting up this foreplay with a little bit of sexting only for him to go ham with the word of the Lord. Renee's personality teaches you constantly feel the silence with the sound of our own voice. Chidi has a peculiar way to deliver words, words that are going to hurt her. You're big. I imagine something else, but you're perfect. My spirit is still here with you. So was she perfect before or how is someone supposed to interpret that? I know that maybe sometimes words can be taken the wrong way, but one wrong statement can be forgiven. But this feels intentional. There's so many little things happening. And some of their extra facts that put them both under the light is that back in 2018, they had already broken up. And this wasn't a breakup that ended and then they got back together. This was a two to three year breakup. So what change this opportunity but it was only an opportunity for one of them because Chidi didn't know that Renee had applied for the show at least that's what Victoria is claiming online something that I would think is important to keep in mind because I've obviously never been in person in these shows and we have heard in the past that filming goes on for hours. It's practically a job as they follow you for hours and if my theory is true that some of these events are scripted, it only adds that much work onto the couple to have to get the job done. Now I mentioned this because only Renee will be the one getting paid in this case and that might be a surprise for some of you but it's true. Only Renee gets paid meaning that Renee said them up for this show and sign them up only to bring Chidi into this to not get paid. I'm sure there has to be some contractual guard here for Chidi. I can't imagine that he's forced to sign those dotted lines, but I can't imagine what happened behind the scenes here, especially because it's been discussed that she called him over a landline to tell him that they got approved, which again sounds a little fishy to me. Victoria is going online saying all these things when literally the first episode, she was like, oh, you guys have to go see this beautiful story between my brother and his wife-to-be. But now you have flipped it completely and now you hate Renee. So was this a beautiful story or not? Just like my sponsor, I proved this message. Never mind. I don't have one, but you can always subscribe or join my community. I'm always grateful to have these two in my corner. Anyways, the story we have is that she called him to let him know about the situation. And I don't know if he was happy, mad, confused, unsure. Nothing said about it. nothing was said about that. Two weeks later, he was contacted by production and got him set up for an interview. Now, if all of this is true, that he was set up to be on the show from the beginning and he didn't even know, it's horrible. It goes to show that Renee was using Chitty and it's using him to this day because as we know, and I said earlier, foreigners don't get paid for being on the show. Yet, here we are, another story for us to watch unfold and uncover the truths behind some of these people. But there's someone else I like to really talk about, a spectator that has had front row seat to all of this, Victoria. Oh yeah, Chidi's sister. Victoria has made claims, again, like I said, released information and been the first line of defense. She shares some big tea. For example, I believe mentioned that Renee has two children and has discussed wanting to marry Chidi. Did you know that she collects child support and alimony, which, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. My issue is that she's no longer interested in marriage because she will lose both of those, which does not make sense. And that's why I started to question this entire story. Victoria said that Renee told Chidi that she could not marry him because she will lose her child support. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you marrying someone does not make you lose your child support. Alimony makes sense, but child support... That has nothing to do with you getting married again. And then I started questioning, is Victoria lying? One thing I wonder is how Renee has so much time in her hands with two kids. Because we see her on social media replying to all of this going on, going crazy on threats, posting all this stuff while still running her farm, while still watching her kids, and props to you if you are able to have that much amount of time in your hands, Victoria's reign of pressure doesn't end. 
because she's been posting comments all over the place being as vocal as she can be i mean and it could be clear the fact that you know she's copying and pasting a lot of the things that chitty already says online but what she can't do and what she has been doing is you know trying to defend chidi saying that renee is the bad person in the situation they do say that you don't mess with family and this is a situation where chidi has a good one in his corner i do find it hilarious that renee can't believe that not one person that a single soul has her back i know i don't that's just my opinion but why would anyone have your back when you have come off so aggressive so possessive so jealous of chidi just being a regular person he could attend church but eventually this man will be just as woke as i am you criticize him for not being woke enough so if you were woke enough by your own words then that means you wouldn't have an issue with chidi being a christian you wouldn't have an issue with you and him sharing different beliefs are you not ashamed of yourself but we have seen that you do care and that your main goal at the end of this is to convert him to make him a different person isn't this the person that you fall in love with this devoted christian renee has been someone i had clearly had a negative sentiment about but chidi hasn't been an angel himself i'm not saying that chidi used his handicap to have people be weak around him but he uses it in his favor in my opinion as this story unfolds more maybe we'll only find out that they're both terrible which makes them perfect for each other matt says two negatives make a positive Matt is weird. It makes no sense. And now it's up to you guys to tell me what you think. Do we think that Chidi is using his disability to hide all the things that he's doing, like lying to Renee multiple times? 7,000 miles and five and a half years later and he's putting two doors between us. You can see the disappointment in her face when Chidi said those words and I would have the same face. And do you guys think that Renee is using Chidi? I'm trying this new thing where I make videos of each couple and analyze their storyline and analyze other things that are going on outside of the show. But I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in regards to Chidi and Renee and just let me know do you agree with me do you not agree with me whose side are you on chidi's team or renee's team i think chidi has a, a way with words he'll make it sound so nice and beautiful but in reality it's not that cute and it hides something within that message i think renee is incredibly pushy i think she is incredibly possessive and i think she has a lot of work to do as always before you leave this video i would appreciate if you can like comment and subscribe and don't forget to let me know your thoughts on all of this mess have a great day and see you later dot dot i'm out this bitch